Welcome back, Clashers. It's looting day. Looting day. Hey. Gonna show you some awesome looting strategy and actually trophy pushing. I'm going trying to trophy push. So look at this. Look at all these wins. All these wins from using what? Valkyries. They are so powerful. Even I don't even care if I get the one star. It's great. I still get the loot bonus. Look at that. All those wins in a row. Haven't lost at all. It's so easy. You just kind of drop and pray. I'm going to show you different attack strategies here. The first one, I did get a three star. Um, but here on this first one, I just wanted to let you know um, kind of what, let me find one here. Um, this was 18 trophies. Now this is not a maxed out base, but still look at this, going the queen walk down to the south. Uh, <clears throat> and then it's, excuse me. And then it's all it is, is just pretty much dropping the queen, letting her do her thing, and then bringing in the Valkyries jump spell. It's pretty simple. And you know, the Valkyries didn't, actually they didn't funnel even into the center of the base. So it actually turned out pretty bad attack um, from that perspective but I was getting I just won that loot hopefully just get the one star if possible I ended up getting the two star because my queen was able to get that town hall towards the end which is very critical but look at this I mean total destruction he can't do anything all I have to do is pretty much drop the troops I could have three starred this base if I actually tried um, with more of a funnel and brought in a golem usually that's what I do with during war bring in a golem here, though, I have a story to tell you guys. So, Jim. So, there's this guy. His name is Panda, I believe. Panda. Um, at one time, he... So, again, this is kind of the, the story of the month. Panda, the man, uh, he spent a record $7,000 per month per month on gems. That is insanity. So, and the crazy thing, he was, at one time, he was the top 10 Clash of Clan player in the world. And he, of course, when you spend that much money, come on, that is so easy. What I do, I just use the regular, try to get the gems here, free gems, using the free gem box strategy. I'll link that, as well as other strategies as well. So, but the crazy thing, so he was spending $7,000 per month, but that was only 7% of his income. So, Panda, you are, I guess, the man. Panda, the man. Who knows? You got the the skills for sk spending money. Here's a three-star attack from me. Um, this is even without the golem. So, anyways, if you're a gemmer, uh, let me know if you've gemmed, how much you've gemmed, how much I mean, gems you've bought and all that. I've, again, I spent, I did spend, I had a $20 gift certificate for iTunes, so I spent that. And then I spent $5 because this was early on. I wanted my queen up. Um, early on, so I was like, you know, I want, I need a couple gems to get some more dark elixir to get my queen. Um, but that's it. That's all I spent. Uh, so really, just five dollars. The rest was kind of gift certificate that was given to me. So five dollars on this game, um, and of course, that's why I only have level twenty-seven heroes and level twenty-eight. Uh, so uh, it's a slow process for me. The heroes are so extremely hard. But look at this base taken down so easily. If you notice, the queen is just going to do her thing. The king kind of wandered off, but it doesn't matter. Three-star attack. This base was very difficult indeed. Very difficult. But this strategy, the Valkyrie strategy, until they change the uh, the power of the new Valkyries, you have to use them. Level 4 Valkyries are so powerful as well. You can definitely one-star many attacks all the time. So there you have it, some great looting strategy. All you have to do is pretty much do a little funnel and then break it down um, and let them do their thing. This was the attack I just performed. Uh, and I'm, of course, I want to take bases on with uh, at least two or three thousand dark elixir to get. Because plus the bonus, that means I'm going to pull in about four thousand. Because it takes quite a bit of dark elixir troops to train 19 of 18 Valkyries. So uh, you need to recoup your uh, dark elixir cost. And here I just kind of lazily threw them down and they went into the center. But as you can tell, they didn't really do a good job on their inferno towers. I could have three starred this base, I think. If I just planned, got a little, let the queen do her thing more. I didn't even let her walk because I was kind of lazy. I wanted to like just get it over with because I knew the Valkyries were at least going to get one star, and that's pretty. That's you know that's plenty. One star is great, and I'll get the loot as well. So there you have it. Make sure you do this. Use the Valkyries, guys. If you're not using it, you need help. Just watch the, my videos. I've done on plenty of Valkyrie attacks. Um, so, anyways, go out there, spend some money on some gems, or if you want. Just save your money because you don't need to spend money. Come on, don't be like Panda. That's crazy. 
Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Please subscribe, share this video and everything with your clan. And again, I'll be back bringing you some great, great quality content. See you next time. Halo.